I am 64 years old. Ever since the beginning, it's been like a beehive. Humans coming and going. Hope Rafael, choo-choo, boogie. They come and they stay, sometimes for years. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Тръгна рапчо капитана да преплува океана с параход. С параход. House for Disobedience is the name of our this year's summer script writing camp and we choose this name uh, for two main reasons. The first reason is it comes from the place where we are, it's an uh, ex-boarding school from the communist Bulgaria, so the young criminals were uh, locked here, it's something like a prison for young, uh, for young criminals. So obviously they were disobedient to the society. Какво значи да не слушаш, т.е. да чуваш, а да не искаш да изпълняваш? Това е значи да изобретиш собствен начин на поведение. Всеки, който изобретява собствено поведение, създава собствена реалност. Така че всъщност всеки един непослушен е по някакъв начин автор на реалността, която той създава. Участниците ще имат възможност в всяко едно от ателетата да видят как се работи с един и същ документален материал или с това място. Тоест тези, които ще участват в ателието за аудио, ще тръгнат да изследват звуците в сградата, в училището. Театралният уркшоп може конкретно да вникне в темата за отнемането на свободата, например, която е тясно свързана също с това място и смислово да тръгне да го изследва. Има нова термин сега. Story World. Има много време да има нови термин. И Story World е a, a, a play, a work, where you can dive into a world filled with stories, but it's not one linear story. And um, and this, I think, is, is is my point of departure. This is what this is what I try to create a story world with, which is very polyphonic, with very many many stories, multi-layered. Uh, this is something which is more and more uh, happening in the world of theatre, that the script is not a classical, a classical linear story for me to be with a, with a dramaturgical curve um, influenced by such things, uh, from, um, from such things as, as role plays, as, as, um, from computer games, um, these kinds of things, you see these influences, which I don't name as my primary influences, but which is also having an influence uh, on, on, much, on much stage art, on um, interactive uh, multimedia projects and so on. 
and I think it's interesting also to try to verbalize the methods of creating scripts for these kinds of things. What does that mean? You will see um, presentations of the work from three workshops that have been uh, done during the Academy. The one was uh, for uh, short movies, uh, the second one was uh, the theatre workshop and the third one was an uh, audio workshop. Um, we also have some exposition of the texts in the snail room. You can have a look just at the texts before having the lecture, the reading then. I really like the idea to be yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Um, and also I hadn't been to Bulgaria at all and, and then the school of course was kind of an interesting place I thought um, and disobedience is also connected uh, at least in some languages obeying and listening it's somehow connected and um, yeah I was just really curious and I had the feeling that from the beginning um, the summer school was uh, like the concept was to work on a very, very professional level somehow and, and at the same time this idea of spending time together, not having much distraction, I was really just curious how, how it would be. And I'm happy I came. Moncheta. Okay. I decide to wait, to stand here and wait for this person I don't know. It suddenly feels strange and awkward. The doorway to this house, a cottage, is open, so I go in. Stinking floor or on one of the chairs, my hands shake because I've never been this alive. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should lock your doors at night. <laughs> Look at me. I'm 96. I think my brother stole it. But I've never spoken to him about where the thimble is. Was it you? No. 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 Was it you? Yes. So, guys, um, are there any more stories? Here? Great. So we can dance. <laughs> You can see the fear in truth and the Angel E was born on June 26, 
1985, in the town of Vratsov. His family lives under difficult social and domestic conditions. Angel's defect consists of immaturity in the sphere of the emotions and the will. He roams around, he begs, he sniffs bronze and gloom. Intriguing! And brilliant TV show! Bulgaria's God! The voice! The voice! The voice! Oh god, the poor crazy bastard, you idiots! Hey! The food is gone! The food from your dam is gone? 